What's up, Degenerates? Welcome back to Degeneration Nation, or as always, if you're new here, welcome. Today's moron is Sovereign Citizen Thomas Humphrey. I've been wanting to do a video on this guy for a while now, and this is the perfect one. Vimbalion did a video on this guy and did a great job, so I'm hoping that I could do it justice. So, without further ado, enjoy the video. I will never leave you, Tim! Excuse me, it's ma'am! It is ma'am! <laughs> Stop being such a fucking degenerate. Okay, 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 okay. Do my mail. This is my mail. Are you ordering me to do a thing? Please don't walk away from me when I'm talking to you. Hey, I'm talking to you. Fucking degenerate. So I'm uh, pushing this cart, pick up my stuff. I just reached the Sonora city limits. I got about 0.7 miles to go until I get the VIX towing. <sighs> Hallelujah. I reached the impasse. There's no way through this. All right, just making it to VIX. The towing here. Made it to Vic's towing to pick up my stuff with the shopping cart from Walmart. Yeah, and I'm sure Walmart really appreciates that, you thief. The Freedom Wagon guys holding the Freedom Wagon for ransom. Extortion. Vic's towing. Thieves with a license to steal. Drop down your head as a toddler. What the reality is, guys, tow truck companies are thieves with a license to steal. Hey, how can I help you? Hello, I'm here. Can I get my stuff out the white van there? Yeah, and then I need another ID. Alright, yep. It's uh, just a Thank you. Dangerous getting over that road there. There's like impact. Yeah, people are wild out here. Yeah. Let me get a cop and I'll be right back. All right, thank, thank you. you. All right, he's gonna move it forward for me so I can get my stuff. You know, it's really sad. These people, the tow company, were showing him kindness and allowing him to get stuff from his car, but that wasn't what he's there for at all. If given a chance, he would have gunned it and just drove right out of there. Guarantee it. Pops right off every time. Still runs good. Uh, no reason why it wouldn't, you know, but. <sighs> Thanks, man. But now it's just grabbing the things that mean the most to me. Uh, one being these license plates are not license plates. They're just plates, but uh, I made history with these so Wow, the land of make-believe Definitely taking those with me You know who would have thought that uh, We the people plates could you know what I'm saying? It, it, it's such a, a violation to this system of slavery that, you know, just putting those plates on there stirs the pot like crazy. Are you sure about that? Back in the Freedom Wagon, guys. Feels like home. <sighs> but uh, I'm grateful they're letting me get my stuff out. You know what I'm saying? I'm able to get the things that matter the most to me. And, um, you know, the rest is replaceable, truly. But um, I'm not ever going to bow, okay? God is going to fight my battles for me and... Um, 
if God is for you, <laughs> who can be against you, right? I'm telling I'm going to share with you guys what happened the last time um, a, a tow truck company tried to keep my van for seven months. I haven't even shared with that, that with you guys yet. God, <laughs> I'm telling you, I marvel at my father. I'm not kidding. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm interested to see what's going to happen this time because uh, I truly believe that I'm going to be able to keep my van. It's a bold strategy, Cotton. Let's see if it pays off for them. Even though they uh, they unlawfully seize possession, um, you know, illegally, so they they pretty much stole it. That's what they that's what they did. Only in the eyes of sovereign citizens slash freemen of the land. Everyone else has a brain and knows better. How you doing, man? Want to tote it? I am. Yeah, I remember you, man. How's it going? You guys are, are holding your ground, huh? You can keep my van, huh? Unfortunately, we have to unless CHP gives us a release. Yeah. It sucks, man, but, you know. Unfortunately, I'm, our hands are tied by them. Yeah, yeah, I see that. And I don't fault you guys either because, you know, that's that's the abuse of police power. They're the one putting the hold on it and enforcing you guys. Otherwise, I would have got, got it out. I would have just, you know, had it towed out or would have paid you guys the one-day fee, you know. Yeah, that's... Got it out. That's the big issue right there, you know, is it's not, it's not a matter of we want your vehicle. Yeah. We, we don't, we don't want anybody's car. We're not in the business of taking cars. We're in the business right. of towing cars. Yeah. Contracted but by the government. Right? The highway patrol calls us and we're on their list and that means yeah, we have to do what they ask. And you said, so I, I asked, um, you know, how much, how much are the, um, the highway patrol involved in your guys' lien sale? Do they how 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 much are they involved in that process? For the lien sale process, yeah. they state that they set the value of the vehicle that we're towing. Yeah, and that deciphers the term of the lien sale. Whether it's a lien sale for a car that's valued for nothing, or a car that's valued for a hundred thousand dollars. Right. The highway patrol puts a value on it, or the owner of the vehicle puts their value on it. Okay. But, the highway patrol. I mean, by law. So by law, we are we are required to start a lien sale within 72 hours of the car coming to our yard. Oh, really? Wow. Yes. So there's nothing we can do. It's not even the highway patrol. It's yeah, yeah. It's but, something uh, that we have to do just being a tow company. Okay. So the the highway patrol sets like the value of the vehicle, and then what what does that have to do with the lien though? Because I know you guys put the lien because you guys are owed money, right? Well, yes, but there's different values. So. Based on the high patrol's evaluation, it depends on if the car is valued at twenty thousand yeah. dollars, or if the car is valued at two thousand dollars. Right. So, say if it's valued at eighteen thousand, like mine is, okay, what 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 amount of lien do you put on it, or what do you what's the problem? So it's not a it's not a matter of the amount of the lien; it's okay. just the type of lien yeah, that's yeah. put on it. So it's okay. it's still the same thing, though. I mean, it's it's yeah. just a lien put on the vehicle that. The owner of the vehicle is required to deal with, technically speaking. You right. Know what I'm okay. I mean, so, what does the value have to do with the lien? Then? That's the only thing that the highway patrol has to do with the lien. They okay. don't have anything to do with it. Okay. What percentage of the uh, uh, sale? What well, after you lien sale? What percentage does the highway patrol get? Nothing. They don't get anything. No. Exactly what we've been saying all along. You heard it right from their mouth. They get nothing. I'm sure the sovereign citizens out there will somehow twist it like they usually do, but we'll just debunk it again. 911, what's your emergency? Yeah, I, uh... Palmy County with a transfer. This gentleman's at Vic's towing said he found a stolen vehicle. He's sitting in it, and he wants us there to release it. Go ahead, please, sir. Okay. Yep, yep, Thanks so... the North Police Department. Hi, this is Thomas Humphrey calling. Um, I uh, located my stolen vehicle, and I'm sitting in it right now, and I need the sheriff's department to come out here to uh, validate ownership, and um, I need them to come out to release, because they're holding my vehicle illegally. So um, I have proof of ownership, and, you know, they, 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 they're holding it illegally, so I'm not, I'm not leaving my van until I get a sheriff to come out here. Why he wasn't charged for wasting resources, I have no idea, but this is ridiculous. There's people that actually need help from 911, and you're keeping the operator from that, you scumbag. What's your name, sir? Thomas Humphrey. Okay. What is, do you know what your license plate number is? It's not registered. I don't register my property to the government. 
All right, Thomas, um, are you inside the gated area? Uh, yeah, I'm inside my van right now. The gate's open and okay. my, 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 uh, van is partially, the nose is outside of the gated area. But I'm not leaving my van until you guys come up here and get them to release my vehicle. <laughs> Yeah, well, 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 I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna take my van from here because you know I'm not, I'm not gonna do anything that you guys consider to be criminal. I'm not leaving my property. Yep. We'll, we'll be out there in just a little bit, okay? Can you guys hang tight for a minute? Yep, yep, no worries. Thank you. Okay. Thanks, Thomas. Bye. I don't know what else to do, man. You know, I mean, I, and, and look, I'm, 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 I'm a peaceful inhabitant, dude. I, I don't wish no harm upon no one. I just want my property back, man. That's all. You know, you guys have. Yeah, no, the, the van is my property. Yep. Right. Right. Yep. Unlawfully, though. Well, this is my pro I'm not leaving my property until I get Yeah, I know I understand you you can you can ask me you can ask me Yeah, right, well, I'm just I'm gonna wait for officers to come so that I have proof of ownership right here And I, I just need them to I need them to validate ownership because I have not seen anything from you guys stating that you uh, own my vehicle, which I was told you guys do. So I'm going to need you guys to present that or, you know, whatever in comparison. This is, I'm dead. Yeah. Amen. And I'm truly grateful. Yeah, and I'm grateful. I'm, look, I'm desperate. After I leave, you know I'm gonna leave here today, cause the police are gonna make me leave. Duh. Okay, but you guys will. You guys, will, huh? I also need to go back to work that are helping disabled vehicles and people sitting on the side of the road. Yeah, I have a um, I have a scheduled time to be in uh, Missouri as well. So it's I actually uh, we're actually gathering together to serve serve God, and so I have appointed time to be in Missouri on the 29th. So you guys are, are highly hindering me from serving my God as well. Surely you can't be serious. You know, it's a pointed holy feast day. I am serious. And don't call me Shirley. I understand you called? Yep. What's going on so um, this is my private property. Okay. I've never registered it to the government. Mm -hmm. So it gives you guys or Vicks Towing no jurisdiction over it. It's private property. Okay. And the Fourth Amendment protects my right to privacy. And, and we shall not be deprived of our life, liberty, or property without due, due process of law. Okay. So in them taking my property, I'm desperate too, man. I'm under duress right now, and I'm, I feel like I'm back home. Look at my mattress. I live in here, okay? Everything I own is in here. I travel, and I've been living in here for three years, okay? So I don't know what else to do. I've, I, I, I've tried to you know, get them to release my vehicle. I talked to CP, uh, CHP. They won't take a complaint. Of, of, you know, what I'm saying because they 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 consider this to be lawful. But where's my due process? You know, you understand due process? I do. Yeah, that means I have a right to be heard before you guys can deprive me of my property. I have a right to a hearing. I have a right to present evidence. I have a right to cross-examine witnesses. I have a right to appeal a decision so before before I can be deprived of my property. That is basic understanding of law. Where is justice? Are you a law enforcement officer? Where is the law at in this? I have due process rights. I demand due process right now. Take where? Where's my due process? Before you guys can take my property from me, and they they've already they've already filed a lien sale, and they said they can they can legally sell my property whenever they want to. That is a violation of, I'm sorry, sorry. That is a violation of due process. Okay. 
So how did your vehicle get here in the first place? I was pulled over by the California Highway Patrol. Okay. How long ago was that? August 8th. August 8th? Okay. Yeah. What did they pull you over for? Because I have We the People license plates. It's a constitutional license plate with the Constitution. It says We the People with an American flag on it, which you guys taken an oath to protect and defend. Okay. So, you know, that's why he pulled me over because he said um, I didn't have proper uh, license plates on there. Okay. So, basically, long story short is it got towed for not being registered. Yeah. Okay. All right. And then you said you've already contacted CHP? And they refused to take my complaint. I called the sheriff's department mm -hmm. because, obviously, there's a conflict of interest in filing a complaint with the responsible party. So they refused to uh, come out, and they sent CP, uh, you know, the California Highway Patrol. So we we can't take a a complaint for another agency, right? So I can take a complaint for my agency as a supervisor. A supervisor for the sheriff's office comes out, takes a complaint for them. A supervisor will come out for CHP and take a complaint for the California Highway Patrol. Right, but what happens when someone violates? They're ambiguated. They're 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 bounds of authority. They've stepped outside of their bounds. They no longer have um, immunity from the law. That means I can hold them liable in their personal capacity. And as with every other sovereign citizen that's tried this, it's gonna fail. This is my, this is why I need to present to you. That is legal ownership. That is my bill of sale from the dealership. I am the lawful owner of this vehicle, so and they're saying that they let, own it now. Let, let me give you this information so i have no authority to release this vehicle because right. i am not the agency and the authority that towed the vehicle okay so the only person or the only people that can allow this vehicle to be released from here would be the california highway patrol okay can i have you... no authority to say i'm going to release your vehicle to you and let yep. you drive away i understand I no so my I hands are tied can you please have the sheriff's department come out here because I, that's i can ask the California Highway Patrol. No, I the need the sheriff's office sh is not going to come out. They're going to advise you that this is a civil matter yeah. between the tow company and yourself. Yeah. Okay. And so the only person, like I said, the only person that can give any sort of authority to release this vehicle would be the California Highway Patrol. I don't have the, that authority, and the sheriff's office doesn't have that authority. Yeah. In civil law, right? So as a peace officer, my goal is, or my job is, come out and enforce criminal law. Yeah. I am not well versed in civil law, and I don't enforce civil law. You're so you're a sergeant too. I'm a corporal. Corporal, can yeah. you can you please some have someone come out here that can that can put in a stop on them moving forward from selling my property because I can contact the CHP. That's the only. Okay, way. yeah, that, I'll do it. I'll do that then. Have them come out. I'm code four. He's requesting a 61 SAM unit response. Can you start me a 61 SAM unit? All right. You so, know, th things take time and I, I, I have to, um, you know, I'm working on uh, filing a complaint with the attorney general's office, which that will put an estoppel on them selling my property, but things take time. I'm trying my best. I'm living in a tent and I have to endure the elements. I missed the part where that's my problem. I'm trying to work with you. Yeah, yeah. Okay. And so my request right now, so that way I don't have to give you an order yeah. to get out of the vehicle and step off of their property. I'm asking, can we get out of the car and go stand by my patrol car and wait for the CHP sergeant to get here? That when is... he when he comes, I want to verify that they're they're not gonna they're not gonna sell my vehicle to me. That's got to be one of the dumbest things I've heard a sovereign citizen say. They don't have to do anything. Why don't you just go get a license and register the car? It'll be a lot easier and a lot cheaper. But you won't do it because you know, soft sit's got a soft sit. To sell it, so that is that's. We've talked about this ad nauseum, right? No, right, right, but right. but that is my that's what I'm attempting right now is to get them. Look, this is donated to me. I have yeah. a traveling ministry. I don't have I an understand. income. Like I said, I live in here, and we have gotten all your documents. Yeah, right? yeah, we've got them all. We've talked several times on this. Exactly. Right? So the way it's got to play out, right? Is in order for you to get the car, like I told you today, yeah. there's certain requirements for that to happen: license and registration. Right. If you don't, 
right? And we're going to, uh, uh, again, for the millionth time, yeah. we are going to agree to disagree exactly. on the laws of California, right. right? Okay. I'm just going off what, you know, and you, you disagree with it, but that's the way it's, it's we're going to agree to disagree on that. Right. You've either got to pay the registration and be licensed, or you're not going to get it out. Okay? I understand. So... Are you here to pick up your stuff like you said you're going yeah, to Yeah, I got my stuff, but okay. I want to prevent the tow truck company from selling my property. Not gonna happen. No, not gonna happen. <laughs> okay. Until I have an opportunity yeah, to present. I know, but until I have an opportunity to present evidence to a judge and have my proper standing in court, okay. that should that should be you know that that's proper due process. That is what I am attempting right now. I get it. And and look at when I leave this van, my home. I very well may never come back. I very well may never sit in this seat again. So that's why I'm under duress, sir, too. You know, I don't okay. know what else to do. You guys that's have a the camera, right? That's not yeah. a mace. Okay. No, that's okay. a camera. Yeah. I, you guys have the authority. You, have right. the, you know, I, I'm not going to fight you guys. But what else can I do as a citizen? All I can do is gather evidence of the unjust treatment right. that and I'm receiving. This, you've sent us a, a ton of that, right? And, yeah. we've, and we've received it all. Right, right. Right. And so... You've gathered all your evidence. No, this right? is further evidence. And that's my fine. last, my last. So what we're doing here, we're we're on this gentleman's business now, and you're yep. you're causing an issue there. You're trespassing now. Okay. Well, this is my property, and you you understand what I'm saying? No, no, no. Okay, this is you. It is technically their property right now. Okay. Okay. It is their property because we rightfully had them under our direction tow this car, which means it's their property, right? If you took this car right now and drove it out. We would charge you with vehicle theft. Wow. Yeah, I, I understand that. You know what yeah. I mean? So yeah, it's their yeah. property. It is their close of business. They want to get out of here. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? I believe he said he would give you till 5 o'clock, right, Scott? 5 today? Was it 5 today to get his property out inside? 5 today? Okay, so you're you're yeah. you're, you're you're past that. So yeah. I know they want to go home. We want to go home. Yeah, right? Yeah. These gentlemen want to go home. Right? So, 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 so check it out. Okay. I... It things take time and in order I'm I'm filing a complaint with the attorney general's office. Yep. Right? Yep. So in order for I believe that that's gonna be what's gonna put the estoppel on them from moving forward. Okay. But again, you gotta see my dilemma. I don't know what else to do. You know what I'm saying? It takes time. I gotta I gotta gather everything together and put it in a presentable form to them because right. they they i sent them an email and they sent and sent me back and they said we don't accept complaints over email and they Who? gave me the uh the the um G attorney general's office oh, okay. his assistant emailed me back and they said we don't accept complaints over email but we are looking forward to receiving your complaint and sent me the link to to, to file it but i'm in the process of working on that right now but things take time and I, I'm up against the clock to them. They literally told me they can sell it at any moment. Mm -hmm. And that's what that's what the laws in California allow them to do. Okay. And you might not agree with those laws. Yep. Yep. Right. But that's what the laws in California allow them to. They're not doing anything that is illegal. Okay. Unfortunately, like I said, I know we disagree on that. Exactly. As yeah. we're gonna as we've talked about numerous times. Yep. Yep. But they're not doing anything illegal. Okay? So. You 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 are responsible in putting the hold on the vehicle. So can you put you a today. hold on them from selling it until I get this complaint done? I told you, you're responsible, okay, for getting the vehicle out by two things. Like I've, like I've told you several times, registration and license, right? If you do not do that, right, then they're going to proceed with, with their procedures. That is, you know, selling allowable by California state law. Selling my property. That is allowable by California state law. The, it is your choice not to comply with the licensing and registration requirements of the state. And whether you agree with it or not, okay, you're required to comply. And if you do not, these are the ramifications, unfortunately for you. Yeah, yeah right? absolutely, I understand, yeah. And so that's, right. and they're just doing their job based on our our request, right? We, we they, they towed it on our behalf, right? And now they're acting upon when someone doesn't come um, and, and, you know. So pretty much down. licensed theft. Oh, that's how you want to think of it. Yeah, it is. But okay, um, so what I'm right. going to do right now, just grab your stuff, Thomas, and we're going to get this process going, okay? All right. Sounds good. I appreciate good. it so much. Yep, yep. I mean, I don't know yeah. what else to do. I'm just... Right, I appreciate it. You, you know, can... I, and, I, and I apologize for holding you guys up, but that's like, right. I mean, what would you do if you I took you out of your home and told you you can't have it back until I do what you tell me to do? I do what I told you to do. You you would do, you would obey me if I told you to do no, something I mean, you didn't want to do. Order, if I want to get my van back... And I'm telling, you know, if I'm saying in order to get it back, you need license and registration, I get a license and registration. But that's just me. 
Right. I can't make you do that. You're cho you know, it's your choice. Right. But I would have gotten the license and registration, then he would have released it to you. Right. right? Me, I mean, you obviously think differently than me. Like we we've had this discussion a bunch <laughs> yeah. of times. We're gonna agree to disagree on on everything. But like I said, I just um Thanks for coming out, man. Um You got everything you want. Yeah, I got everything and um yeah. So is that shopping cart outside? There's geographical limits, Thomas. It, it is. Oh well, my I, I'm gonna let that one slide. Thanks, man. Okay? I appreciate it. And it's <laughs> it was dangerous coming over those impasses up there, but I couldn't find anybody to to come out, so I had to you know improvise. But okay, I don't want to speak for you guys, but this is gonna be the last time he's allowed in here. No, and I, I appreciate that, but I mean, I'm, I'm, on, I'm under arrest as I live in here, man. But I thank you for You're letting not me under get arrest. I'm under duress. Oh, okay, okay. You know what I'm saying? So gotcha. I mean, I just don't know what else to do, man. You know, I, I I would appreciate it if you'd not sell my van until I'm able to file a complaint with the attorney general's office. Can you do that much? I'll have it in in a couple days. Uh, sorry, I can't make any promises to that because, like you say, I mean, we could be talking years. I mean, I don't know when you're gonna do that. I'm gonna, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna have it in by in a couple of days. But it's already been more than 30 days since the car was towed. Right, but I've so they've just contacted me, the the attorney general's office, and they said they're anticipating my my claim, or I mean my complaint. So I don't know where else to go from here, man. But that's my request. If you could give me a couple of days to file that complaint, and they should be able to, you know, help me from there. But. Now comes the part where we throw our heads back and laugh. Ready? Ready! <laughs> That's going to do it for this video. If you enjoyed it, please give it a thumbs up, subscribe, and share it around. I'm also very interested in what you have to say, so please leave a comment below. Until next time, later days. Oh, yeah, you're so Big shut the fuck up and listen!